A chilling incident involving the alleged targeting of President Emerson Umningagwa's plane with laser beams has rocked Zimbabwe's security apparatus, prompting a multi-agency investigation. The incident, which occurred on July 12 as the President's Air Zimbabwe Boeing 737 returned from a trip to Mozambique, has raised serious concerns about the potential for sabotage and the vulnerability of the country's airspace. Zimliv has reported, Sources close to the investigation revealed that the pilots reported being blinded by laser-like lights during their approach to the Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport just before 7 p.m. This alarming incident, which has never before been publicly disclosed in Zimbabwe, has prompted a joint investigation involving the Civil Aviation Authority of Zimbabwe, the Air Force of Zimbabwe, police, and intelligence services. The seriousness of the situation is not lost on authorities. I can confirm the incident which has affected or menaced many other airports, foremost Gatwick in England. The misdemeanor has to be nipped in the bud. Stated presidential spokesman George Karamba, who declined to discuss the specifics of the threat, citing the ongoing investigation. The incident has sparked speculation about a possible link to recent unsolved break-ins at the president's private residence his son David's home, and the offices of his nephew, Tomayam Ngagwa. While nothing of value was taken during these break-ins, the timing and targets have led investigators to explore potential connections. Shining a laser at aircraft during landing or takeoff, known as a laser strike, is a growing concern in developed countries like Europe and the United States. These strikes can have serious consequences, interfering with pilots' vision causing distraction and disorientation, and even temporarily blinding them during critical phases of flight. The United States Federal Aviation Administration FAA reported a staggering 9. 652 laser incidents occurring below 10,000 feet in 2023, with the majority of these incidents taking place at night during takeoff and landing procedures. The UK, where offenders can face up to five years in prison, recorded just over 1,000 laser strikes in the same year. While there are no known airplane crashes directly attributed to laser strikes, these incidents can have significant medical consequences for pilots. After a laser strike, pilots are often required to undergo ophthalmology evaluations and take medical leave due to potential eye damage and the risk of long-term vision problems. The incident involving President Umingagwa's plane has heightened concerns about the security of the country's airspace and the potential for malicious intent. The investigation is expected to delve into the motives behind the alleged laser strike, the potential for a coordinated attack, and the effectiveness of current security measures at the airport. The incident comes at a time of political uncertainty in Zimbabwe with President Umningagwa facing pressure from his loyalists to extend his term beyond 2028. While he has maintained that he will retire at the end of his current term, the growing lobby among his supporters, coupled with his reluctance to quell their ambitions, has created a sense of unease within ZANU-PF. Particularly among supporters of his deputy, Constantino Chiwenga, who is widely seen as a potential successor,